The most obvious finding in this chest x-ray is the enlarged cardiac sillout. Enlargement of cardiac sillout can be due to cardiac chamber enlargement that is cardiomegaly or fluid in the pericardial space, pericardial effusion. Beyond these common causes, anterior mediastinal mass, aortic aneurysm, etc. can also result in enlarged appearance of cardiac sillout. Now let's explore further this chest x-ray to see if we can gather more insights. Focus on the left heart border. The topmost part of the left heart border is aortic knuckle. In normal chest x-ray, next to aortic knuckle is a concave pulmonary bay made of main pulmonary artery. Below the pulmonary bay is the left atrial appendage. Below left atrial appendage is the left ventricle. Major part of the left heart border is made of left ventricle. Now look at our x-ray. Because of the enlarged pulmonary artery, aortic shadow seems contiguous with the pulmonary artery shadow. The normal knuckle shape is lost. Further down, you can also see the convex left atrial appendage. Now there is a special nomenclature for these convex swellings. Iota is the first Mughal, pulmonary artery the second Mughal and the convex left atrial appendage third Mughal. The third Mughal sign is enlarged left atrial appendage which indicates dilated left atrium. So our examination of the left heart border suggests possibility of pulmonary hypertension and left atrial enlargement. Now focus on the right heart border. The right heart border is made of right atrium. The outpouching of the right heart contour is noted. This indicates likely right atrial enlargement. Now note a line that is running parallel to the right heart border with similar contour medial to the right heart border. I repeat, note a line that is running parallel to the right heart border with similar contour medial to the right heart border. This is the double right heart border or double density sign. The first lateral border is the right heart border and the medial border is the left heart border. So we are getting a double right heart border or double density sign. This suggests left atrial enlargement. So based on the chest x-ray findings, there is a likely pulmonary hypertension, left atrial enlargement, right atrial enlargement. The differential diagnosis for this typical chest x-ray is pericardial effusion. Hence, only echo can give a definite diagnosis. But it is very interesting to explore these things using chest x-ray. Thank you.